So I should have known, because when I was in the spot, I was in the spot, and the only reason I grabbed up their whack and cheese is because in the review, somebody said they did mac and cheese was, was trash. And I'm like, maybe it got better, right? I see why. I see. You should never be able to hold mac and cheese sideways and it stay put. Good morning, family. What's going on with you? You made me a dame drops. If you're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, dame drops is back again. And just to let you know, I always look for the best comment to pin to the top. So make sure you're leaving comments on the videos. I'm checking for those joints. Lock it in with a thumbs up. Now, the very beginning of reviewing the worst rated series that I started here on YouTube, I went to a spot. Uh, New Haven called Wings Madness. It was so bad, family. I didn't want to leave a single star. And Yelp forces you to leave at least one. So at the very end of the review, I remember, I put in a one star just so I can submit it. In here, I, I, I just want to post it without a star. So we're just going to give it a one. We're just, I mean, that post it with a one. Post it with a one. I went back after that. I think back in uh, 2020 is when I went back. And there was some improvement. I left a three star for him. Here we are, 2024, four years later. Has it gotten any better? Did they fall back off? Let's find out together, because the way I'm looking at things right now, they're only a two and a half star. Ooh. This one's coming in at a three star. Y'all legit use Kool-Aid for your fruit punch. Other than that, good food and service was good. So the food's good, service is good. Only complaint was for their fruit punch use Kool-Aid. And for me, the way I came up, that's not even a complaint. Do y'all put enough sugar in that thing? You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get some of that fruit punch. They better have some in stock. Next one, two star. I actually love this place. However, my concern is they use a platform, uh, devournow.com, that I placed the order through to be able to order in advance, which I did an hour prior. To be able to run in, pick up lunch, run back to work, and not be late returning. Luckily, I took a screenshot of the order, stating that I had paid for the order, which you also pay for a convenience fee, which I was totally inconvenienced when I arrived to do the pickup. Not only was my order not ready, they had no record of the order being placed. Obviously, I'm going to wait now, because to go somewhere else for lunch would have held me up even more. Ooh. So that's bad online ordering business, uh, poor communication between the online ordering company and then of course the restaurant itself. And when you're on a time crunch for lunch, you don't have time to wait. So I, I can understand the frustration in this particular review. Next one, five star. Order the 10 piece barbecue wings with drink and fry. I really think the food is great, hot and fresh. The French fries are homemade with sea salt, not no shoestring fry. It says a lot about the business. One thing to note is they open at 11, but they don't start the fry laters until that time, so food won't be ready until 11.30, 11.45. I would like to see that change and the left side of the counter space area cleaned up and not for a storage space. And I think you'll be the top wing place in New Haven area. Staff is friendly. All right, that's great feedback actually. You know, just kind of clean up for visuals when customers come in. Uh, keep in mind, even though they open at 11, food probably won't be ready till like 11.30, 11.45. So it probably makes more sense to go in at noon. And uh, But food's good. Staff is friendly. That's a win-win. All right, y'all, we're going to read one more. And then we're going to slide over to Wing Madness in New Haven, Connecticut. This one is a three-star. Number one, the wings were perfectly fried, lots of flats. Number two, the sauces. There were four. Two could have been ranch or blue cheese, so we'll call it Blanche, because it was a mystery to me. The hot wing sauce lacked a little body, but had just the right amount of bite. Then there was a sweet and sour, didn't even try. Number three, the mac and cheese, giving me high school cafeteria, annoying. Can't comment on fries because they did not arrive with my order. I roll. And since the reviews are all over the place, I would say this establishment is too. The disrespect from mystery sauce, I won't soon forget. All right, well, she didn't beat him in the head too bad for the mystery sauce. Um, mac and cheese was straight booble the fool, but the wings were perfectly fried, lots of flats. Didn't get the french fries, so maybe that was supposed to come with the combo. That never happened. So, so I understand where the knockoff of stars are in this particular review. I like this particular review. Nice little breakdown of everything. All right, family, we read what we had to read, so it's time to slide over to Wing Madness just to see if that fried chicken game is still boo-boo the fool or if they really did step it up. Let's find out.
Oh, what happened? Oh, something, 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 something. Oh, yeah. Cue the music. Can't you find a meaning in? Oh, oh, oh. I just could let fast now. Right, what's going on fam? It's your boy Drops in the building, 716 Dixwell Avenue, New Haven, Connecticut at Wing Madness. We're back here. This will be our third time being here in the course of, I don't know, seven, eight years. And uh, we're about to see what it's all about, man. Have they stepped up their wing game, something crazy? Or should we just stop eating here altogether? We read the reviews. The reviews are kind of like 50-50. But they said the food game, for the most part, is on point. Let's find out together. Definitely check on this mac and cheese. Cause it's easy to mess up mac and cheese and wings too. y'all i'm not even gonna hold you family i want to get right into business now my man asked me if i wanted blue cheese or ranch we heard about the mystery sauce in the review so he gave me blue cheese we're gonna find out about it momentarily these french fries do look kind of uh ferocious they look on the double fried side kosher salt popping you see them little crack sprinkles all over my fries What potato that is? I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this isn't fresh today potato. Oh shit. This isn't fresh today potato at all. This potato has that taste of potato waste, whatever potato waste is. You know how like when potatoes are sitting mad long and they start having things sprouting out of them? Mm -hmm. They start growing extra components to their body as if they're a caterpillar? They start growing thoughts. Yeah, and what this potato is thinking is that it's stinking. This is this is stank potato. This is baby girl who got that insta attitude for no damn reason whatsoever. This is her. This is her and a whole bunch of shoestring possibilities. She's 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 diced up for your visual consumption. I'm gonna tell you right now, the best part about these fries is the salt. Pop that over there. I definitely asked for the mac and cheese. Matter of fact, I took it out. Let's get right into the mac and cheese. Because you either do mac and cheese right or you do mac and cheese wrong. And I would hate for this to be the wrong song on my mac and cheese. I, I would hate for that to happen. I would hate for that to be the case. I'm going to have to knock over a building. Now this... Mac and cheese look like family. I watched that man in the kitchen whip up my mac and cheese over the stove. Nothing baked. It was just over the stove, stirring it up. And I want y'all to see the consistency of this joint. Now, I'm not hating ahead of time and saying, ooh, this is going to be bad, but let's try. Let's try over the stove mac and cheese. What do y'all think before I even get into it? Dame, it looks banging or dame, put that fork down, put the mac and cheese back inside of its compound of gelatin and call it a day. Or does it just need a little bit of salt and pepper? To the reviewer, she broke it down in the perfect way. I remember this mac and cheese from seventh grade. I recall the struggle mac and cheese that I would get with my hot dogs. And they'd give you like this old basic hot dog too, this old basic boiled, partially cold hot dog. And they would give you this mac and cheese right alongside of it. Is it horrible? No. Is it great? Definitely not. It's not a creamy dream. A creamy little boo thing. <sighs> you know how the ladies say, ooh, but my little thing thing is like whipping up mac and cheese. It's mac and cheese in the pot. If it sounds like this, she got that dap. That dry <laughs> I should have known, fam. I should have known that this mac and trees and whack and cheese and please that they just served me was going to be I should have known 
Because when I was in the spot, I was in the spot, and the only reason I grabbed up their whack and cheese is because in the review, somebody said they did mac and cheese was, was trash. And I'm like, maybe it got better, right? I see why. I see. You should never be able to hold mac and cheese sideways and it stay put. I'm highly upset, dog. I feel disrespected. I feel disrespected. I feel like that blatantly, like, hated me. I might have reviewed his cousin's spot months ago and he's like oh, i'm gonna get that name today i'm gonna give him my worst mac and cheese except this is the only mac and cheese you make it ain't your worst it's the only mac and cheese you make this trash and cheese whack and cheese this is a please this is a little miniature joint of please and this mac and cheese is flavor is like powdered cheese i should grab one of my sodas and pour one of my sodas into this mac and cheese and maybe that will help out a little bit of creaminess because it is a dry powdered pack of cheese and you know what i'm gonna do just to give it a benefit of the doubt I'm gonna get three fries, not one, three. All right, it looks like maybe I'll get four. Dip it in there good, dip it in there good. Ugh. Oh, I got some powder. That's about it. Tastes like struggle and depression. Mixed together for hatred. Everything that you didn't like about your ex, it was in my hands just now. Everything you ain't like about him. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like despair and all hope is lost. It tastes like a bad scene in every movie. But I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna give y'all the benefit of the doubt, Wing Madness. I'm gonna keep going. With it. Benefit of the doubt for Wing Madness. This is it right here. This is gonna turn everything around, Dale. This is gonna turn right here. This is it. Oh, I got Hawaiian pineapple wings. Mm. When the last time you heard about Hawaiian, I'm all black on here. Turn me back, give me back, give me back, baby. Come back, line me up, baby. Bring me back, bring me back, yeah. Go. All right, look. I got Hawaiian pineapple wings. I got Hawaiian pineapple wings. It look like chunk of pineapple. I mean, it really look like apple. Let's keep it real. You look at it, it don't look like pineapple at all. All right, fam, what you thinking? This is supposed to be Hawaiian pineapple right here. Chunks of pineapple. <laughs> Look like apples. But chunks of somebody pineapple. Nice little, looks like a little sweet sauce. All right, before even taking a bite. And there's some small wings. These are some small wings, kid. I've had some wings before that are little chunky monkeys. These are some small wings, but you know, I'm not even going to hold that against them because I want Wing Madness to win. I thought this was going to be like, I gave y'all one star the first time. I gave y'all three star the second time. So far right now, Dale, what they got? They got a half. Got a negative. No. They got a negative. Man, let me do some work. Grab yourself up some of that simp sauce. There's so many simps in the world today. That y'all got your own sauce now. Simps have their own sauce. It's called Hawaiian Pineapple and Wing Madness. I'm, it wasn't nothing Hawaiian. And them pineapples were just regular bad apples. Because they definitely wanted no pineapples. This one went back to what I originally, originally said about the spot. These wings are bad. Like the chicken is decent. I'll say that much. The, the chicken, not a lot of chicken, not a lot of meat. Not a lot of meat on the chicken. They're small. But... He, he cooked them the right way. Their choice of sauce is bad. The Hawaiian pineapple, I probably, maybe I should have went with a different sauce. Dude, you got a different one, right? And you see how sad them pineapples look. Sad sauce. That's like a can of pineapples that have been sitting ever since I first did this review almost seven years ago. They finally opened the can, Dale. That's what it looks like. Because that's why they look like apples. Not even a light crisp on the skin or nothing. Damn. It was just kind of just a soft mush push in the bush. And unfortunately, we have a Slimer sludge sauce that really doesn't taste great at all. It's pungent. It's just disrespect in the chicken wing game. Wing man, this is nothing good about you today. Nothing. I mean, the soda that I got off the refrigerator. Oh, that was it. That was, that was it. That was all right. That was it. The shot was right. My stomach hurt. In the review, my stomach hurt. Dry powder mac and cheese. 
ridiculous French fries with no surprise. Just fries, just soft, old, soggy potato. Old grandpa potato with just things coming out of its ears. Just And then your wings, your wings with the Hawaiian pineapple sauce that's wayward. And it's taste, it's, it's foul. And the pineapples aren't pineapples. This is what it tastes like when nobody cares. My bad, dear. You know, I, I keep I keep it a hundred. But you got wings too, family. You got wings too. All right, all right, all right. Maybe yours are better than mine. Maybe it was just my choice of sauce. What's wrong, dog? What'd you get? Oh, all right. So what you got? Like a sweet chili? A sweet. Actually, you know what the Asian Asian fusion? Yeah, yeah. Asian fusion. Yeah. Asian fusion. Okay. All right. Go ahead, man. All right. What's up? These joints is tiny though. Damn. Yeah, they are little. They are little. I don't know where they got them chickens from. Them, them chickens were raised in the back of somebody's house in the hood of New Haven. Them joints were not there, not farm raised looking like that. Them joints are smoking crack rock. <laughs> smoking what? <laughs> Fam, I go in <clears throat> to these establishments, these mom and pops at times with, with the hope that there's been a lot of change, you know, that they're really going into these Yelp reviews or wherever, TripAdvisor, Google reviews. And they're really reading. Management is reading, owners are reading, and they're making the necessary changes to do better. And honestly, I thought going to Wing Madness, you know, going from one to three stars, like today would have been four stars, right? Like, yeah, they're going in the right direction. Go check them out, baby. Let's talk about this in Yelp, shall we? I'm so salty, I'm probably gonna start misspelling words and everything, this is ridiculous. Well, the good part of this review is short-lived and so let us get right to business. I am going back to my original zero stars from years ago. See, when I returned the last time after the first bad review that I left behind, there was some improvement and so I was able to leave at least a three star, but now we are right back at zero and so let us discuss. I noticed the menu change, which was a good thing. There was less focus on the fried chicken options. Actually, I didn't even see any more, and more focus on the wings. Fish sandwiches, burgers, and so let us grab up those. Hawaiian pineapple wings, the fries, and even the mac and cheese that I read about. Add in some drinks, and my bill was roughly $30. I went straight in for the mac and cheese, which upon first bite was somebody's boxed up, potluck surprise with extra powdered cheese that nobody ever asked for, but I received it anyway. This trash and cheese was far from cheesy and the elbows weren't thoroughly cooked, but the clumps of dried out powder pellets left me in a very dark place. And even when I tried to stir it, my fork wanted to give up and whatever residue of hope for this disaster shot out of my driver's side window. Moving along to the French fries, the potato itself tasted old and that probably had to do with the old oil. Who knows, but they were far from fresh fries. The best thing was the salt, but the fries were not even good enough for the nearest trash can. We're not doing good at all, but let us move along. My Hawaiian pineapple wings had chunks of what should have been pineapple, but looked more like apples that had a flavor of whatever giving up on life as we know it tastes like. Slimy sludge apple chunks, putrid and foul in taste, and that same yuck butt sauce over my small little wings did not help much at all. The meat was decent, not overcooked, but the wings just need some help along the way. I was hoping to see another bump and improvement here, but unfortunately, the food fell short. The guy behind the counter was cool though, and so he gets a star, but that's about all I can give a star for. Maybe the drinks in the fridge too, and they were good. I was hoping for the best, fam. I did not receive the best. The food was just, it was bad. It, it, let's just call it what it is, it was bad. Like again, you have people in the kitchen that could cook, then you have people in the kitchen that are doing the best that they can. And what I had today was whatever the best he could give, and that's what I received. But that last chef they had, that, that individual was on point. He ain't that last chef. That last chef is gone. Some are off doing his thing elsewhere. Might want to change his chef in or teach this good brother how to cook up something, anything, everything. All right, y'all. My, my attitude is funky. Let me just try to change up and leave y'all with some positivity. You never know what somebody's going through, so please check on somebody today. Family, friends, whomever. It doesn't matter. People don't really put their business out there, like I said before, so it's good to just check on people and make sure that they're doing all right, you know. You never know. You never know who you're helping in this world. That that much I've learned over the years. You never know who it is that you're helping. Hopefully tomorrow's review is better. I don't know. 
I need to go play Call of Duty or something and get my mind right. I like, I'm all, I'm all, ugh. All right, fam. I love y'all like soul food. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, Dame drops it back again, baby. I'm not always this negative. So if you're new around here, this isn't my normal vibe on videos, but this one's bad and I keep it 100% funky. All right, I call it what it is. Call those shots how they are. And that's all I can do. Love y'all.